So on Francis Ford Coppola's films, although the scripts are great, uh, sometimes they're written the night before. In fact, sometimes they call them the daily news because they just don't know what's coming. Check in your workbooks under chapters three and four for further information on that. Now, since next week is spring break, we obviously won't be in contact until you get back. But I've arranged for a guest speaker to talk with us that first Monday back. He is a well-known filmmaker who recently completed his 48th feature film. Hey, Professor Angler, who, who is it? Mike, his name is Alan Smithy. Is he a really big director? One of the biggest. Amazing amounts of money have been put into his films. I don't know who he is. What's he, uh, what's he directing? He has dozens of films under his belt, and as an assignment, I want you to research his career. I want you to be able to ask him specific questions about specific films that he's directed. Watch a few of his films and do not show up without having done this. Do you understand? Okay, then. He's very well known in Hollywood, and it was quite a chore to get him to speak with us. His staff is really going the whole nine yards for us. They're preparing a screening of his dailies, and also providing us with an elaborate breakfast. This is gonna be cool. Yeah, it's not your typical boring lecture. You know, it's legit. Hey, how'd you get him to come here? That's the thing. Unfortunately, he cannot come here. We're all going to have to meet at his studio in Virginia where he's working. The good thing about that is that it gives us a chance to see how and where he works in this phase of production. Apparently his studio is quite impressive. What I'm handing out are directions to his studio. You'll note that there are directions via subway, bus, or, if you're lucky enough to have a car, by car. Fairfax? Man, this is a hike. Yes. So allow ample time to get there. It's the first Monday after the break, and we're meeting at 8 a.m. That's right in the middle of rush hour. Do you know that's right in the middle of rush hour? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got to do the hair and the makeup and the clothes. I'm going to have to get up at 5, and no, no, this is just not, no. Mm -mm. Mr. Smithy is putting aside his frantic schedule in order to meet with us, and it would be most embarrassing to me if you all did not arrive punctually. So if you're not going to be there, I need you to tell me right now. Good. I assume from that that you'll all be there and on time? Don't worry, Professor. We'll be there. Yeah. Thanks for getting this guy to come talk to us. I, I won't miss it. Not a problem. I'll be there early. With that, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And again, don't show up without researching his films. I'll be checking my email if you have any questions. And have a nice break. I'll see you bright and early, Monday morning, 8 a.m. 8 in the morning? I'm going to have to leave by like 6. Yeah, it'll be rough. Hey, Regina? Regina? Can you, can you give me a ride? Sure. I'll come by your place at 6. Yeah, cool. Have a nice break. Yeah, you too. Cool.
today is that meeting with the big director in Fairfax, right? <laughs> That's the only reason I'm up this early. I thought you were always an early to rise type person. <sighs> Even I've got my limits. And why are you up this early? Actually, I was wondering if you could do me a really huge favor. Someone sent me a package but to my mom's house, and I was wondering if you could pick it up for me on your way there. Mike? Good morning, sweetie pie. Hey, wake up. Pick up, Mike. Hey, today is the day that we're going to see that big director guy. Remember? Brother. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Here are the directions to my mom's house. It's right off I-66. A right and a quick left. You can't miss it. If you make me late, You're leaving I... now, right? Yeah. So you get there in plenty of time. Oh, just in case the front door is locked, the passcode is 56991. What? Just in case you can't get in. 56991. Here. Write it down. I think I have a pen. No. Forget it. I'll remember. Five, six, nine, nine, one. Yeah, okay, it's easy. Fifty six nine nine one. Thank you so much. I owe you one. I love you. Wake up! Look into my eyes and reassure me that you will all be there and on time. I'd really hate to let tardiness affect your final grade in this class. Oh, shit! Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Hey, Tom. Man, I'm running late. I was going to take the bus to the metro, but now I don't have time to take the bus. Could you pick me up at the Vienna station at the end of the line? Um. Yeah, say, um, say like around 7.45. Great, I should be there by then. Thanks, man, I gotta fly.
Okay. Mike, pick up your phone. I'm giving you a ride and I will be there in 10 minutes. Mike, wake up. I'm a block away from your house. God, where am I? Mike, I'm at your house. Get up. This is your last chance! Who's a man now? I'm leaving. You don't have to do that. Um, actually, I'm kind of in a hurry. I just stopped to help a friend who's obviously not here now. Um, I knew the spot was illegal, but I just wanted to help a friend. Uh-huh, and get a nice cup of coffee. Have a nice day, ma'am. Thank you! Super dude. Okay. Let's see what you got. Have no fear. 
Super Dude is here! Hey, what stop you getting off? Um, the last stop. Why? Just thinking maybe uh, we could trade seats if you're getting off before I am. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna be reading this book here, and uh, I don't want to be disturbed with you crawling all over me and everything, you know? So, uh, you get off first, we say we trade seats. Yeah, I'm gonna get off at the last stop. Right? I'm just gonna read this book here then. Out, Alan Smithy. We got Tom coming to meet ya. <laughs> coming to greet ya. We're styling in my ride. Yeah. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
concentrate, concentrate. I can make it. Just drive, just watch where you're going. I hope there's no cops. Okay. Thank your mom for buying Balbuster breakfast cereal. Thanks, mom. Warning, Balbuster cereal may cause heartburn, hyalurone, hernia, esophagitis, peptic ulcers, hemorrhoids, dysentery, and irritable bowel syndrome. Do not eat with beer, glue, or milk. Balbuster is a trademark of Bal Brothers Incorporated and is no way associated Exit. with Barney the Dinosaur. Black Way Tom. It's 60. I got a parking ticket to help your lazy ass. 85 bucks because you couldn't wake up. I hope you flunk this class. I hope you flunk out of school. I hope I never see you again. To be continued, I have another call. Tom, where are you? Um, I don't really know. See, I missed my exit and uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know where I am. You missed your exit? How did you do that? I was distracted by this uh, thing. Um, but that doesn't matter. Um, I was supposed to pick up Greg at the uh, Metro, but you know, since I missed my stop, I'm not going to be able to make it there in time. Can you pick him up? We've got 15 minutes to get there. I was supposed to pick up Mike. He wasn't there. I got a parking ticket and I'm running late too. So is that a no? Yes. Um, yes, you will pick him up or no, you won't pick him up. No, I will not pick him up. Okay, okay, touchy touchy. I'm fucking gonna take it, stupid ass. Professor Engelot, I was late because there was. I got a flat tire. No, that wouldn't work. Um. Is that Greg? Ride? Benny, yeah, Tom was supposed to pick me up, but he's late. What's for the box? Don't ask. Just get in. We've only got a couple of minutes, and Engelot's gonna lose it if we're late. Think about I, I got distracted by this thing, man. Don't be like that, baby. Good morning. Huh. Shit, man. Dear student, what's up? Oh, you're kidding. If you were reading this note, you clearly have not done your homework. Or if you had done your homework, you'd know that Alan Smithy is not a real person. Alan Smithy is the name credited as director when the actual director wants his or her name disassociated with that film for one reason or another. No, this is so not cool! I'm gonna sue his ass! You can't sue him! Yeah, just watch me. He has no idea what I'm capable of. Oh, shut up! You know, I didn't need this. <laughs> no, wait, there's more. So, your diligence in traveling to this most inconvenient location at this unpopular time is commendable, but ultimately useless. Yeah, no shit. In the future, I'd advise you to do your homework. Oh. See you in class on Wednesday, Professor Inglot. 
And I can't believe the links this fuck would go through to get his point across. Hello? Hey, Regina, what up? Mike! You asshole! Where have you been? I was sleeping? <laughs> hey, did you get my emails? What email? You know, there's no Alan Smithy. Set that forward. <laughs> well, we know that now. We had to come all the way out here to find out. You did? <laughs> we? Who <laughs> went out there with you? Um, Tom, Greg, Pe what does it matter? Yeah, no, no, I read there's no Smithy and I emailed you. I emailed the professor too and he wrote back and he was like, I want to find out who went out there. And yeah, I never heard back from you. <laughs> you asshole. Oh. You know, Regina, you should be more diligent with your schoolwork. And I guess you should also check your email more often, too. I don't know. You wanna, uh, you wanna maybe go to a movie sometime? I HATE YOU! <laughs> Hello? Whoa. 